Yes, that's it. Hey guys, I'm here in Belgium coaching and today I'd like to talk about one main thing that differentiates your best tournaments from your average tournaments and then your worst tournaments. What's that one factor? That one main thing is how good are you at winning close games? That game is 8-8 and you win, hey this might spur you on to having a great tournament. Or that first game is 8-8 and you lose, now you're kind of in a downward spiral that whole match. So if you can win the close games, you can put yourself in the best position to have a great tournament. So everybody wants to win the close games, but a lot of times people have kind of a skewed perspective on what it takes to win close games. So today I'm gonna to talk about three aspects of winning close games. The first aspect is understanding the difference between controllable and uncontrollable factors. A controllable factor is something that you have control over choosing what to serve, or choosing how to receive, or choosing what location to play to. This is a controllable factor, and this is one of the biggest things that can set you up for a win. Also, you have to be able to understand uncontrollable factors. See, there's both players in the equation, so maybe you chose tactically the right serve to play. Maybe you played the right shot. Maybe the other guy just survived longer. Or maybe the other guy was able to produce a higher quality ball than you can handle. So there's two players in the equation here. All right, so you're not totally under full control of winning the match, but what you are in control over is how you play. So instead of focusing on the winning and the losing, you need to focus on your own performance. How can I play my best? How can I choose the right serve? How can I play tactically correct based on what has happened during the match? So the first key in winning close games is understanding the difference between controllable and uncontrollable factors. The second thing is being able to refocus, tap into that hyper-focus state and refocus each point. You know, the score was 7-7 seven, seven, and now you went up 8-7, 9-7, 10-7, and then if you start immediately thinking about, this would be great, I'm gonna win this thing, or I can finish up with a, uh, with a trick shot, or there's a lot of things that can kind of bog you down, especially when you're on a momentum roll or you're on a momental uh, downslide. So regardless if you're winning a lot of points or losing a lot of points, you have to be able to refocus and concentrate on each point as if it's the only point, as opposed to getting wrapped up with the score. And then the third thing is you gotta let the nets and edges go. You have to realize that there's plenty of matches, plenty of matches that are gonna be won and lost based on lucky balls, all right? So if you start off with the assumption that for sure my opponent is gonna get some nets and edges, at the end of the game. Yeah, try to return those as best you can, but you're not gonna be so ticked off on that net ball that happens at 9-9. I've seen hundreds of matches that this happened. The score is 9-9. The opponent got a net ball. It was a gettable net ball, but this player just threw up his hands and said, I can't do it. This guy is so lucky. He didn't even try to get the net ball, and he let that mentally shake him so much that he couldn't recover for the next point and then just lost the match. So if you start with the assumption that at the end of the game, the opponent will get nets and edges. When he does, yes, you can try to return it and mentally you're not gonna be that shook up. I'm actually surprised when I play matches and at 9-9 when my opponent doesn't get nets and edges. I'm pleasantly surprised, um, but mentally, uh, emotionally, I'm ready for that to happen. And the same thing for you. You need to be ready for these types of shots as opposed to surprised when they do come. So if you wanna have the best tournament of your life, it involves being able to win close matches. And those three factors that we talk about, that we talked about here today, I'm just gonna kinda of recap for you. Realize that there's controllable and uncontrollable factors, and you're gonna focus on the controllable ones. Realize that you need to focus each and every point and not get wrapped up with the score, riding emotional highs or emotional lows. And the third thing is realize that lucky balls, like nets and edges are gonna happen. And that's just part of the game. Mentally, you're gonna to have to be able to move past that and to be able to tap into that hyper-focused state to do your best on that very next point. Anyway, I've missed all of you in Ohio. I'm gonna be back to Ohio on Monday. I'll be back to the Academy on Tuesday. I'm looking forward to seeing you all then. If you have any questions about your game, about upcoming tournaments, Feel free to shoot me an email. I'll get, you, get back to you on Monday or Tuesday when I get back to the U.S. I look forward to seeing you all soon. And if you're watching this on YouTube, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell. I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching.
Two. Oh. 